So looking here at Ethereum's chart uh, since 2017, it has had a very smooth 2020. The price made it past our last price prediction uh, for the 290 level. So now as 2020 comes to an end, let's talk about what's to come for 2021. Hey guys, here again is John from Currency.com and giving you another Ethereum price prediction. But this time I'm going to give you some important price levels to watch for 2021. And if you don't want to miss out on future videos, uh, make sure to hit that subscribe button. Also, thanks to everyone who has been subscribing to the channel and supporting the continued growth of the channel. Uh, we really appreciate it. And if you are enjoying this video, also don't forget to smash that like button. Oh well, yeah, and one more thing for you guys before we get started. Uh, Currency.com is having a promotion right now, giving you $100 for free just by inviting a friend to join the platform. And I'll show you a quick clip right now of the promotion, and then we'll jump right into today's video. <laughs> Usual, looking at the trader sentiment, so here we go. At the time of recording, the sentiment right now still remains bullish for Ethereum. And we just had a deep correction here today. But now it's looking like the price is recovering uh, right back up to that 570 level to potentially bounce and test that 590 level once again. OK, so for 2021, uh, there's support and resistance levels that I'm looking at. The first support level uh, is $500, which right now is right on the 50 day moving average. And then after that, $350. Uh, which was right around the 2019 highs and right along that 200 day moving average. And then the last support range that I would look for in 2021 is right around 240 to 280, uh, which would be the last line of the fence for the bulls. And that's where I would expect the price to bottom out if things did turn bearish and have a deep correction. In terms of resistance to the upside, the price keeps going that way. Then $640 is the first level I'm looking at, which has been the highs uh, for 2020 so far, $700 is the next level after that, which was the second highest price that we had uh, since the price came down from all time high. And then the last resistance I'll be looking at is $1,000, which is also a psychological resistance. And if we did test those levels and broke out, then we most likely will head towards all time high. Uh, so quickly, before we get into our 2021 predictions, uh, let's quickly recap the 2020 prediction video and then talk about what happened leading up to where we're at right now. 200 day moving average on the weekly chart is around 252. Uh, it has been tested multiple times this year. And remember that each time a support or a resistance becomes tested, uh, it becomes weaker. So a close above 252 would be very bullish for Ethereum. But another thing to note here, the MACD did have a bullish crossover on the last week of April. If you look at the previous bullish crossovers, uh, like the end of 2018, uh, Ethereum was down to about $100. The MACD stayed above zero for about six months, and that brought us to about a high of $350. If we do have something similar happen where the MACD stays above zero for about six months, then Ethereum can possibly test those yearly high price targets of $290 and also $350 from 2019. Uh, if the remainder of 2020 is bullish for Ethereum, uh, I can see the price sitting at about 290 and above. But if we do have some bears. So you can see in the last video uh, where we did record it right down here in about June, price was trading down in around that $250 level. And our price target was right at about $290 uh, for the end of the year. The good thing is so much has happened since then. Uh, we had the DeFi boom. Uh, we had more public companies saying they're investing into cryptocurrencies. And also we had the PayPal news and also the long anticipated Ethereum 2.0. And all of that helped accelerate the price right up to the current levels at about $590 and bringing the price up even more about 100% or so from our previous bullish target. And the price action has flowed pretty good for Ethereum since those March lows. It's crossed above all three moving averages multiple times, uh, continuing to make higher support levels. And each leg up has been a nice grind uh, to the upside with no crazy parabolic run. And that is why I think if Ethereum continues this slow grind up and having the higher support levels, then my bullish price targets for 2021, the first one's right here at about $700. 
and then depending on the strength in Bitcoin, a cup and handle formation, and then that breaks out later in 2021, testing at a minimum of a thousand dollars. And if you do zoom out here, you can see also a large cup and handle forming, which tops out right at about seven hundred dollars, which would be the point of a deeper correction before that next leg up towards one thousand dollars. So right now, those two are my price targets for 2021 for Ethereum. Uh, I'll give you a few reasons why I think this. Uh, number one is adoption. Ethereum seems to be the altcoin that picks up easily in the mainstream. PayPal is also supporting it in their new service, uh, which is also bringing in more and more investors who are skipping Bitcoin and going straight to Ethereum and other altcoins. And things like ICOs, DeFi will always come around and be built on Ethereum. And each time we get these trends of uh, innovative things happening, most of them are being built on Ethereum. So as crypto adoption continues to grow into the new year, uh, new trends will start and also will be built on Ethereum which will give Ethereum more utility and the price will continue to rise as more and more people continue to buy. Another reason is the tech in Ethereum. Uh, Ethereum 2.0 just launched and as more development is done on it, it will continue to grow. 32 Ethereum is required right now in order to stake and the APY is pretty good return. But pretty soon, like I mentioned in the previous video, a majority of exchanges will start to support staking for Ethereum and there will be staking pools. So you can share the staking reward and you don't need to hold 32 Ethereum uh, individually. And then the last thing, like I said here, is this price action for Ethereum. Uh, since those March lows, it has been a very clean run up. Look at that. It bottomed out down here close to $100, had a leg up, built another support here. At about that 250 level i had another support here uh, between 200 and 250 another leg up made another support which brought us to a new yearly high uh, close to 390 400 and then another leg up and then right now we are forming another support right at about 550 dollars and i think if that holds going into the new year then 700 dollars is not too far away and also looking back at 2017 uh, since when Ethereum crossed over that 200 day moving average, it spent about 400 days above that. And currently right now, we've only been above for about 230 days with 400 days bringing us well into 2021. So compared to the previous trend where the price stayed above the 200 day moving average for around 400 days, um, we that would bring us right to that cup and handle formation with a breakout sometime in the middle or maybe the end of 2021 bringing us right up to test the thousand dollar level or there's even a possibility that all of this can happen way quicker similar to that 2017 run bring us right to a thousand early 2021 but and then you can expect quite a deep pullback unless we do build a higher support in those levels and also one thing to mention here bitcoin already had its run to all-time high and it looks like it is going to continue running ethereum still hasn't really ran uh, like how people are used to so in 2021 we could have quite a big altcoin run and i would expect that one to have way more liquidity than we did back in 2017 which that would send ethereum well over all-time high but let's say we get in a situation where things do slow down here and that 630 level becomes the top of this current cycle and then things start to get bearish uh, my target would be right down here at about 350 360 which was right at those 2019 highs also you can see right now the 200 day moving average is right there and the price did range in those levels before breaking out to these new yearly highs another thing that shows this level here as a strong support if you look back in 2018 uh, when we came down from all-time high the price bounced there going right back up to 700 and also right back in 2017 before we went up to all-time high it was a strong resistance level so that 360 level is for sure somewhere where i would want to watch for the price to bottom out if things did turn bearish in 2021 because that has held as a strong support and resistance throughout the years and it is also about a 40 percent correction uh, which is usually how crypto likes to retrace uh, before starting or continuing the initial trend